This is Behind the E's presented by GEICO. Today I'm talking with Zach Ledden, who is the head of the strength and conditioning department for the Capitals. There is a lot that goes into being a professional athlete behind the scenes that people don't know about, and that's where Zach and his team step in. I'm the head strength and conditioning coach for the Washington Capitals, along with the assistant strength and conditioning coach, Mike Wagner. I run our performance department. This is my eighth year. And walk us through what a normal day in your life looks like here. We come in, I will sit down with our medical department. We discuss players. Here today we've got practice and then we're on a flight at two o'clock this afternoon. We generally have individualized plans for them, depending on what each and every guy needs. Around that IT band and that's what you have to deal with. We run a GPS tracking system, so we track volume and loads on ice as well as in the gym. Some of that will steer our practice plan. 44, that's an 8% increase. We collect all that data. Try and chat with guys, talk with them, see how they're feeling, what's going on with them. Just make sure we have a handle on anything that could be impacting them. 40 to start with. <laughs> how have you seen the focus on strength and conditioning and nutrition kind of evolve? I think one of the big things is we're kind of looking at players more as individuals as mm -hmm. a whole. You'll feel that gap disappear. That lets you know you're doing it right. At the beginning of the year, we run blood work on our guys. Take a look at what's going on under the hood. Better. And then we can make dietary lifestyle changes to make them healthier. Sue and I work very closely together. She's handling a lot of our meal planning. So that is meals on the plane, meals on the road, meals at home, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Because a healthier athlete is generally gonna be a better performing athlete. That looks like a 40 to me. Would you say that's kind of how you guys make their lives easier, making sure that they're healthy every day? We're assessing one is really how they're sleeping, uh, their energy levels, how everything's going at home, and then how physically prepared do they feel to play. 39. What we're trying to do is talk with guys and be like, okay, what changes can we make? We'll play by ear, see how it feels. Whether it's getting off your phone, meditation, deep breathing, changing your eating time, mm -hmm. so that guys wake up on game days and they feel, hey, like, I feel great today, I'm ready to go. Do you need a breather? Uh, for 50, come on, baby. We made a lot of strides in how we train off the ice. The big thing to me and with our medical staff and why we work so closely with everybody is the most important thing, one, is at the end of the day, they're hockey players. Our focus is on keeping them healthy, keeping them on the ice and, and performing as well as they can. You guys make protein shakes for the players, right? We do. Talk to me about the science behind that and how you determine what goes into each guy's. A lot of guys either get hungry during games or we want to try and keep more muscle mass on them and stuff, you know? There's a whole process surrounding guys' game days. Part of it is input from them. Uh, it goes into what they get pre-game, in the game, and then post-game. And then part of it is based off, again, their blood work and what they may need. Caffeine, pre-game, BCAAs, salts to make sure they stay hydrated, carbohydrates, and then post-game, we're making sure they get protein in them, uh, and then there's lots of carbs in their shakes as well. The more carbs we can get in them during the game and after the game, uh, the less of their body stores they tap into, you know, especially during high game density, the easier it is for them to replenish those stores moving into the next day. It's gonna be great, you're gonna be flying. <laughs>